Hey guys, Zong here, back with another math video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a question from Bay Area Math Olympiad, sort of like USAMO. Um, BAMO, 2014. And uh, I actually participated in this competition. I think our team got second, which probably tells you it's easier than USAMO already. Um, but here's number three from 2014. Uh, look at the problem, try to solve it if you can, and uh, I'll go on with the solution. So um, this just basically requires some algebraic, like some algebraic manipulation. So to start out, let's divide both sides of the equation by y plus one plus y squared square rooted. So x plus square root, 1 plus x, well, I already messed up. 1 plus x squared equals 1 over y plus 1 plus y squared. Um, and you know what? Your math teachers always tell you that you don't want irrational numbers in the denominator. So we will multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by the conjugate to get uh, 1 plus y squared minus y over 1 plus y squared plus y times 1 plus y squared minus y. And that actually simplifies to um, 1 plus y squared minus y over 1 plus y squared uh, minus y. Sorry, minus y. y squared, I mean. Which just equals square root 1 plus y squared minus y. Uh, that's interesting. So that means this is equal to this, which, you know, sort of simplifies it, I guess. So uh, the next thing you do is you move y over to the other side to get x plus y equals 1 plus y squared minus square root 1 plus x squared. And now what do you do? Uh, you actually do the same thing. And by the same thing, I mean multiply it by the conjugate again. Uh, so you multiply this by 1 plus y squared square rooted plus 1 plus x squared square rooted and then divide divide it again by that to get plus y squared minus 1 plus x squared times 1 plus y squared plus 1 plus x squared divided by square root 1 plus y squared uh, plus 1 plus x squared. My handwriting is getting progressively worse. And this simplifies into 1 plus y squared minus 1 minus x squared over that thing. Don't want to write it out again. So let's scroll down a bit. Let's see what we do with this. Uh, remember, the left side of the equation is still um, x plus y. So we, we can multiply both sides by this quantity and we can get x plus y 1 plus y squared plus 1 plus x squared is equal to, and remember this is equal to y squared minus x squared, the numerator and that simplifies into y minus x uh, x plus y. And uh, well, what do we do from here? Uh, you may be very tempted to uh, divide both sides by x plus y because you know dividing both sides by x plus y would make it e make the equation simpler. However, we are trying to figure out x plus y, so we don't actually want to factor it out. We instead want to move everything to the left um, and move this thing into here plus 1 plus x squared 
minus y plus x equals 0. After you move it over and use the distributive, uh, reverse distributive property and put all, st put all the stuff in here, you get this. Okay, well, what does that do for us? Well, notice that 1 plus y squared is greater than um, is greater than y squared always because y squared is always positive and you know adding one to that makes it greater same goes for 1 plus x squared is greater than x squared and then if you take the square root of both sides you get that that's greater than the absolute value of y and greater than the absolute value of x I should actually say equals but this quantity is greater than both of those. So, if 1 plus y squared is greater than the absolute value of y, that means that in this scenario, no matter what, no matter what y or, no matter what y or x may be, suppose that y is positive and x is negative, meaning this is a minus a positive number and minus another positive number. So it'd be like, so this would. Uh, y and x would be the most negative as it could possibly be because x would be negative. Even if that were the case, um, the qua these radicals, these uh, these quantities would still be greater than whatever these two. The greater of greater magnitude than whatever x plus y is, because they're greater than the absolute value of y and the absolute value of x. And because of that, because these are always these quantities are always greater than the magnitude of these quantities, and because these quantities are positive, that means that this entire expression must be positive. It must be positive. Because since the, these two quantities are positive and this is greater in magnitude than whatever y plus x is, this entire expression must be positive. Now we have x plus y times some positive value equals zero. And for this to happen, x plus y must equal zero. Since, you know, since the left side has to equal zero, one of these factors has to equal zero, and it's not this factor, so it must be this factor. So x plus y has to equal zero, and that's the solution. So, I hope you found this question interesting, and I'll see you next week.